Hi folks, Tim O'Connell, Regional Sales Manager for Renegade RV. And today we're gonna to discuss the 2023 model year Icon. Now the Icon is the flagship coach for Renegade. And as a quick reminder, Renegade is not a low cost, high volume producer. We only build motor coaches and we have limited numbers as far as availability on specific models and more importantly, on the Icon. The Icon, we build uh, 12 to 14 uh, units a year, and the lead time's out there pretty good. Uh, the chassis that we've chosen for the Icon is the Freightliner P4126. Now that's a DD16 600 horsepower engine. You have an Allison six-speed transmission, which is the 4000 TRV series. You have 1,850 foot-pounds of torque and up to 30,000 pounds of towing capacity. Uh, along with that, you also could have a DT12 transmission if that's what you choose. Now this is a 45 foot coach. It is a tandem axle, so both screws can work. That helps in stabilize the coach if inclement weather and the like, and especially if you are towing a stacker trailer. Now you're gonna see on the exterior as we go through this coach, there are some options that are on here and some standards that are on the Icon that are not available to the other models. They are exclusive to the Icon. Again, it is our flagship model. We're very proud of it, and I look forward to uh, showing you uh, the rest of the exterior. So as we move down the campsite of the coach, a uh, couple highlights on the chassis again, Freightliner 126. Uh, you have the safety assurance program uh, on there, which is a suite of safety features on the chassis, which is great. Uh, you have your LED high intensity headlamps. You also have a fog lamp down here. There's a nice skirt there. Uh, as we come back, you also notice the diamond shield. Now that protects the front of the coach uh, from rock chips and things of that nature. Move down a little bit further, of course, Michelin 22 and a half inch rubber here. You also have the Alcoa uh, aluminum rims uh, all the way around. We move a little further back, you're gonna see your outside mirror. Now this is a heated and adjustable side view mirror. You also have a convex mirror here. Just above the door, passing your door window, you're also going to see another mirror, which is a blind spot mirror for cars if they're lower. Also, the safety step. You have two steps here, non-skid, non-slip, if you will. And when you open the door, there are two security handles in there to help you enter and exit the cab accordingly. Again, this is part of the safety assurance package here. So as we move down the coach side, the obvious thing that you see on this is the flush slides. This is exclusive to the Icon. Uh, it's in demand. People ask about it all the times, but it is only for the Icon. Now the slides on the Icon, there are four in every floor plan, and they are all hydraulic. They are non-electric. They are hydraulic. As we move up a little bit, you're going to see um, the frameless windows. Now these are non-vented, but they are large frameless window. That being said, they are insulated dual pane windows. You go above that a little bit and you're going to see a bar. We call that a sweep bar. That's over each of the slide out. So any debris, if the slide is out, any debris as it comes in gets pushed off by the sweep bar on top of every slide out. Again, you have your 12 volt scene light that's just a little bit added security and that's uh, around the coach. So there are four of them on this coach uh, in particular. So as we move to this first bay, I wanna point out that this houses your 600D Aqua Hot. Now, this is a preheat uh, through the engine as well for the chassis, so that's very convenient. But this is a 600D series. This will be your primary source for heat and hot water. Again, on all Renegades, your two points of latching, uh, which is uh, standard on all Renegades, as I've mentioned. The other nice thing on this slide, on the sidewall here, is they're two and three eighths inches thick. So there's more insulation uh, and it's heavier and thicker. So that's part of the icon, also exclusive to that. As we move down here to the second bay, this is storage, but in this particular instance, the optional outside refrigerator freezer is here and that's on a slide tray. This also houses your two 3000 watt inverters. As we move to this compartment, 
this is the home of the brain for your Empire bus system. Now this is a complete integrated system that operates everything in the coach. And there's protective glass there that can slide. You have access to it, of course, but it is protective. That's very limited uh, storage there. So you gotta be very careful uh, with that. Now you're also gonna notice on, on the bottom of the coach, these stainless steel accented pieces all the way down and just underneath the coach down here, there is a lighted accent. So it gives it good ambiance and that kind of complements the full length awning there that also has an LED light as well. Of course, you have your outside entertainment system. This is a 43 inch TV with the sound bar. Uh, pretty simple, we all know what that does. So now we're at the entry door and it's a heavy duty entry door, uh, full length hinge here, large handle. And as you open it up, you'll see how the entry step folds out. Now it's a two step entry three-step in, and a nice solid surface entry point. When we get on the inside, I'll show you and, and point out uh, the safety step there that covers uh, that area while you're traveling. Also, again, the Trimark uh, on this keyless entry and uh, safety handle. So as we move further down the campsite here, obviously tandem axle. So you can call it a twin screw, whatnot. You have a primary drive and you have a secondary drive. Now there are eight tires on the ground here. And that's, uh, you know, unlike a traditional diesel pusher or even a bus model, um, your Prevos and the like, you'll have eight tires instead of six. Two drive axles that are available to give you more stability that also contributes to your 30,000 pounds of towing capacity, which no bus is gonna give you in that respect. So again, part of the safety of a Super C, that's the advantage of that, especially in a 45 foot coach if you are pulling a, a stack or trailer. Again, the obvious flush slide. Again, hydraulic, there are four of these on there. The sweeper bar on top, of course, as we move down a little bit further, you're gonna see a docking light here. Um, and in this storage box, this is a three-quarter pass-through. Now, it's not a pass-through tradition, it's three-quarters. So you can put tables and chairs in that, a lot of room. Also, all of the baggage compartments are lit like all Renegades. So we move to this back one, a little bit smaller, um, also houses your uh, central vac system, if you will, but uh, some knickknacks in there, your air hose, et cetera, glad hands, things of that nature. Now, this gives you a great idea of what the exterior looks like. Again, this is the Glacier exterior, one of the nine exterior colors. You got your two scene lights for added security, your porch light again. And above the main entry door, there are two cameras. One camera is for the 360 uh, camera package that's on here. The other camera is part of the safety uh, package. So when you engage a turn signal, it brightens up or, or lets you know what's on this side of the coach and it also complements the same on the driver's side of the coach. So now we're at the back of the Icon and I wanna start at the top here. You're gonna notice the marker lights, of course, at the very top, but there are two cameras. Your primary camera, your backup camera is above, and that is just that, a backup camera. Just below that, you're going to see a bubble camera. That's part of the 360 camera package that's exclusive to the Icon. Now, as we move down a little bit, you'll see the Icon moniker. So when you apply the brake, that is actually your third brake light. It's pretty cool. It illuminates and, and it's, uh, it's a little uh, talking point there, but that's pretty neat. As you move down a little bit further, of course, you have your brake lights and your turn signal lights here, additional marker lights as well. Some nice stainless accent pieces, but you'll notice that the cap looks like a singular piece. But again, with Renegades, you have a two piece cap. You have your primary cap, you have your lower bumper cap. Now, if something were to happen, accident or whatever, it's primarily going to be here, so you're not going to be affecting the rest of the rear of the coach. Of course, you have your backup light here, an additional docking light. You have your two glad hand points there, and also your 40,000 pound hitch. Now, 
Let's talk about that just a little bit. The 40,000 pounds is what the capacity of the frame is for the hitch. Your limiting factor is going to be what you're using it for. Renegade states that it's 30,000 pounds maximum towing capacity. So that's gonna give you 4,000 to 6,000 in tongue weight. You can get more information on our website uh, with that or ask your dealer in that respect. Now I wanna point out this, this is the Gen Y hitch. This is a high take rate, I absolutely recommend it. And this would replace anything that you have uh, for here as far as the three inch receiver. So you have two inch tube receiver, you have pin elast application there, you have a three, uh, two and five sixteenths, 30,000 pound ball, you have a two inch ball, etc. It also saves on the frame of the trailer and also wear and tear on the tow vehicle, which would be your icon. Of course, you have your seven way and your additional backup camera connection uh, for your trailer if you are pulling something in that respect. But again, the, the back of the coach is very attractive. Uh, it's a showstopper. It, it lights up great at night and uh, it, it's fun. It's a beautiful coach. We really like the icon. So now that we're on the driver's side of the coach, uh, pretty simple here. Just like all the other Renegades, this is your 50 amp shore cord uh, compartment. It's power uh, shore cord, 26 feet. Also your transfer switch is here. Also have the 30 amp dog bone in that respect, lighted as well. So we move down a little bit further. This is your compartment for your Onan generator. This is your 12.5 uh, gen. Obviously you have three ACs on the Icon, uh, which is standard, but this 12.5 can run everything on this coach uh, if you're dry camping. Of course, on this side, you also have flush slides, of course, all the way around the coach. This is one of the four. Again, you have your uh, slide top sweeper uh, on top of those. And again, another docking light here that is an LED. So as we transition further down on the driver's side again, you have your dual, uh, your tandem axle, 22 and a half inch Michelin rubber and your Alcoa rims here. Of course, as you move down, you're gonna see that you have your exhaust for your 600D Aqua Hot and then your primary exhaust for the engine on the uh, chassis itself. This compartment here is our wet bay. And not unlike all the other Renegade models, the wet bay is pretty simple. We all kind of know what it does. You have your whole house water filtration system, your black tank, gray tank dump, your hose reel, your flow jet macerator controls, etc. cetera. Uh, it's also lit, but that's pretty simple. We all know what that does. As we move a little further down, these next two compartments, also very simple, black tank and gray tank, 75 gallons each in conjunction with 150 gallons of fresh water. So these are a 12 volt heat pad as well with these, but with the 600D Aqua Hot, these compartments are also heated. So Colder weather, you're gonna have some peace of mind. That's the gray, this is the black here. So we move down here, this is the hydraulic compartment. Now, this is the mechanism that controls all of the hydraulics in the coach, especially the four slide outs. Again, the flush slide here, and you have your sweeper bar on top. But this is easy access, easy maintenance in this respect. So that's pretty simple. As we go here, this is your battery bay. Now the battery bay will have three chassis batteries specifically dedicated for the truck itself. Then you have your four Dragonfly lithium batteries. Now these are 270s each, so four of them. Now that's standard on the Icon where it's optional on the other models that Renegade offers. You also, in conjunction with this, will have four solar panels at 175 each on the roof of the Icon. So that's a great compliment uh, with that. So now we're at the driver's door of the cab. And again, not unlike the pa uh, passenger side, two-step safety, non-skid. Obviously there are two assist bars to help you enter and exit the cab safely. Here is your access for your 120 gallons of diesel fuel. That's your fill there. Also your def fill here. So that's very, very convenient. You also have an engine block heater that's above here. I don't know if you can quite see that, but that is there. Uh, so if it's cold outside, you can plug it in and keep your uh, engine warm. You have your side view mirror 
uh, heated and uh, remote controlled and your convex with that. Again, your Michelin rubber 22 and a half with your uh, aluminum Alcoa rim. Now, as we take a look down this side, it's a great canvas that displays our exterior, uh, the glacier paint on this. So uh, there are nine, as I had mentioned before. Again, you have some safety here. So there are two scene lights in conjunction with the other two on the, on the uh, campsite. You also have two cameras. One is a safety camera from a turn signal standpoint. The other is part of the 360 security uh, program that is with the icon. So there are four round cameras like that that we, did, that we showed on the back, the camp side, this side, and then also on the front. So as we enter the 2023 icon, to my right here, which is the camp side of the coach, you will see theater seating. Now theater seating is the option. The standard is a sofa sleeper with air mattress, but this is the option. Nice cup holders here, your controls here for your theater seat operation. You do have a center console here for storage, remotes and things of that nature. You will notice here the large picture window. We mentioned that earlier on the outside. There is day shade and night shade power, but it is non vented on the opposite side of the slides these are vented windows so you can get the cross ventilation on that which is very nice but again they are tinted they are dual pane and insulated as we move down a little bit further this is the booth dinette it is not a convertible booth dinette so it doesn't go into a sleeping solution it is static it's fixed so it's very good it's a large booth dinette i'm 6'2 about 230 so four adults can sit here very comfortably. And it has a nice solid base. So a lot of people push, so it gives you stability in that respect. There are seat belts forward facing here. So there are two and there are also seat belts in the theater seat. Again, a very modern appeal here as far as the backdrop on the slide. You also have your electronic control here that operates all the lights and functions on this specific side of the coach in this slide, but a very modern appeal to the furniture and decor. So let's touch lightly on the cab. Of course, you have luxurious captain's chairs here. So the seating is upgrade, ultra leather, very, very nice. Bolsters are very comfortable. It also is heated and they do have the massage option on these chairs. So both the driver and passenger chair have that. Up here is an AV cabinet here. Just store some of your AV components. Pretty simple there. Here's some light storage and also a secondary control for your HWH leveling system. That is the landing gear on the coach. And then behind me here in this cabinet, a little bit of storage there and some more electronic components. Now, let's get to the driver's side of the coach and we'll start talking about the kitchen and the like. So you have a smart refrigerator here. This is a Samsung residential. It is a French door. It's a two tray. Lower is your uh, freezer. Upper is your refrigerator and secondary is for fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. But it is a smart refrigerator. Very, uh, very modern. And this has got this new black stainless, which is very, very popular. We like that a lot. Now this is part of the retreat decor. Again, there are three primary decors in the 2023 Icon. Let's move down a little bit further here. And this is the primary kitchen. So here, nice cutting blocks here, but below that is your induction cooktop. So you have two burners there and two cutting boards. Here is a large item drawer here. And then below here, this is your dishwasher. So as we move back a little bit, you'll notice that you have a full height backsplash, which, which is very nice. Also, your convection microwave in the same black stainless as the refrigerator. Again, this is the wood stock wood stain. And so there are four options in the wood stain, but this is the wood stock, of course, storage above. Nice handles that are satin. You have soft closed drawers here. You have a nice silverware tray here. There's another one below that. Again, soft closed dovetail. Right here you have some more storage as well. 
two outlets on your kitchen, modern faucet, rack tray here, and you have a deep bowl, single bowl, stainless steel sink, which is very popular and it's, it's very, very nice. Obviously, you have a little storage here and below, of course. As we move further, you're gonna see your 50-inch TV. Now, this is on a swivel arm, so this can be released, and you can pull the TV out and move it whichever way you want to be more viewer-friendly, if you will. So this goes back and locks in. Of course, you have your Bose sound bar here. Nice countertop space here. Added storage drawers here and optional fireplace. It's a 5,000 BTU two-stage fireplace, so very, very nice. Uh, obviously, again, your soft panels and very modern uh, accents to your slide out as a whole, but that is a large 15-foot slide, really expands the room in conjunction to the campsite slide where the theater seats and dinette are. So again, a lot of room here. So as we back to the mid portion of the coach, this is your half bath, which is really conveniently located from the mid entry here. So if you're entertaining outside, somebody needs to use the restroom, they can come straight in. They don't have to walk through the primary aspect of the coach. China bowl toilet, which is macerator as well. And you have your quartz countertop and you have a vanity mirror, etc. cetera. Um, it's nice and added storage for linens, if you will. On this side of the coach, this houses your washer and dryer, so your dryer is going to be on top, your washer is going to be on the bottom. If you don't have that, it's additional wardrobe storage and or, or primary storage. Just to the left of that, towards the front, is your main 15-inch screen for your Garmin system. Now, this is your primary screen. There's another smaller screen in the master, which you can change back and forth as far as which is your primary, but this is the primary. This controls everything in the coach. It's all touch screen as well. Now, you can program it with your smartphone or a tablet as well. There are two tablets throughout the coach, uh, one at the entry door and one in the master bedroom above the bed. So you can control uh, virtually anything with those two items as well. They are portable, so you can take them off the dock and move around the coach inside and or outside. When you're not using them, you should dock them though so you don't lose them. But this is your primary screen. Of course, you have uh, a little bit of storage up here from pantry, uh, drawer storage, if you will. Just below this is more additional pantry storage. And then below that is your breaker boxes, if you will, for your fuses and your breakers. And that's very convenient um, and highly accessible. So as we move back a little bit further, going into the master uh, bedroom in the retreat there, you'll notice that there's a pocket door. So now that we get into the master suite, I'm going to start out on the driver's side here where the closet is. Uh, this is a pass-through closet, so this goes all the way through behind the TV, so you have added hanging storage. This is option for a 43-inch TV, and speaking of the 43-inch TV, you're going to notice that there are four quadrants here. Now that's part of the 360 security camera system that is standard on the icon. And it's very convenient. So it's there uh, for your view if not, but you can switch either quadrant as a whole or four quadrants as you see now. And of course your sound bar, added storage again. Below you have um, drawer storage with a nice shelf there. Now that's a uh, quartz countertop and quartz countertops throughout the coach. So your kitchen, your dining room table, your bath vanities, etc., and this shelf are quartz. You have the nice padded walls here. So here you have the full length mirror, so it's very convenient. And as we move to this side of the coach, now we're going to talk about the king size bed. Now this is a king bed. It's 72 by 80. There's 150 gallons of fresh water underneath this in conjunction to the black tank and gray tank that are 75 each. Now, you have a padded headboard there, but on either side of the bed, you have a vented window. Again, a very modern application, um, very contemporary uh, look and feel. Padded walls makes it warm and inviting. Of course, you have quite a bit of storage above the bed. And then again, as I mentioned, you have another control panel that is right here 
and you can undock that and control anything within the coach with this. Now there are two of these, one at the entry door as I mentioned, and now this one here. So when you're not using it, we just put it back up here where it goes. So now let's talk about the ensuite. Of course, that's very important in a luxury coach like the Icon. So to my left here is a solid surface shower. It's very large. Two people actually could fit in there, but it's very comfortable. Now there's a teak seat in there that folds down, what we call rain shower head in there, which is very, very nice and very modern. Of course, you have the quartz countertop, like I mentioned before, good size vanity sink. Above that, you have a lighted mirror, which is very convenient and, and pretty cool. So you can just use that mirror light instead of everything else if you want to tone it down a little bit. You have a China bowl macerator toilet. And Renegade uses all China um, bowls in all of their coaches, but that's what's in the Icon. And then above that, you have your escape uh, window, your exit window that's just above the toilet. So it's very convenient. Again, a nice, warm, inviting, roomy ensuite that's expected in an Icon and a luxury coach. Thanks for spending time with me today on the 2023 Icon model RQ floor plan. Again, my name is Tim O'Connell. I'm a regional sales manager for Renegade RV. We appreciate all your time. We look forward to seeing you in the future. And remember, when you're thinking about luxury, Icon is the one.